Hey gang, welcome to episode 11 of the Witch Awakening Podcast. I'm your host, Melissa Rippey, a spiritual and awakening coach for witchy women who want to explore their inner selves, heal past traumas, and connect with their abilities to live their most magical lives. So today I want to talk about five signs that you are clairvoyant. All right, let's get into it. So number one, you see shadows or sparkly lights in the corner of your eyes. What do I mean by that? So um, it's just what it sounds like. So you're like doing something, looking straight ahead, whatever, and you see like a shadow or sparkly light in the corner of your eye, and then you turn to like see what that is, and there's absolutely nothing there. Um... And nothing that it could have been. You know, you're looking around like, what in the world was that? There's nothing there. So this will happen quite frequently. And you find yourself wondering, like, what the hell is going on? Um, Am I crazy? Like, do I have a vision problem? Do I need to go to the eye doctor? Yes, due to those things. But then if everything checks out, this is a really telltale sign that you are opening up to your clairvoyant abilities. All right, number two, you see, quote unquote, wavy air. So think about like when you're out someplace hot or um, next to a heater or something, and you can see those like the wavy air coming off the pavement um, or off the heater or like whatever it is. Um, Think of that, okay? But you see it inside where there's no heat source or you see it in like cold places where there shouldn't be any heat waves coming off of anything, um, that can be spirit manifesting to you and you're seeing it with your clairvoyant eyes. So be on the lookout for that. Number three, when you close your eyes, you see lots of shapes, colors, pictures, etc., stuff like that. Um, so I always describe this as when I was first opening up to my clairvoyance, um, when I would close my eyes, I would always see something that is best described as like a lava lamp or one of those, um, similar lamps that had like the colored gel inside of it that would kind of, you know, move around and make different shapes and change colors and that kind of stuff. That is how... I describe what I used to see when I would close my eyes and it was every time I never had a time where I closed my eyes and there was nothing that it was just dark there was always the um, colored it almost looks like smoke I guess Um, but it was always like different colors and it was moving around and like pictures would appear in it sometimes I would recognize them and sometimes I wouldn't Um, And that is what I saw every time I closed my eyes uh, before when I was first kind of getting started. It doesn't happen so much anymore, but when I'm meditating or doing some sort of journey work or inner child work or anything like that, um, I will still get the smoky pictures. uh, And sometimes when I'm just kind of relaxing and Um, I will sort of tap into that on purpose just because it's kind of fun now to see what shapes and things come forward. And I always take that as a sign and I look up, you know, the spiritual meaning of like if it was an animal or sometimes I'll see like um, eyeballs or just whatever um, showing up in that smoky lava lamp stuff that's going on behind my eyeballs. So if that is something that you've ever seen, um, when you close your eyes, there are messages there for you and start tuning into that and paying attention to what you see and, uh, taking notes and then kind of looking up the meanings of those things and see what spirit is trying to tell you. So that is number three. Number four, you see spirits. Duh, right? (laughs) But, um... This is a tricky one because some people with their clairvoyance um, will see spirits. I see dead people, right? Like they will see them like they're real people, uh, like you and me walking around. 
but a lot of people when you use your clairvoyance it is not like seeing a physical person it is um like seeing in your mind's eye I almost describe it as there's like another layer on top of what you see so like you see what you see with your eyes and then there's this other layer um you know behind the veil which makes sense right like there's another layer of things that you can see with your clairvoyant eyes which for most people it is like seeing it in your head and um like think about a daydream or recalling a memory how you see that stuff in your in your mind's eye right you see that in your head that is how most people's clairvoyance show up for them um you see this stuff in your head and in your mind's eye some people have to close their eyes a lot of people don't um and i think that comes with practice also like the the more connected to your ability you get the less you have to um really focus and close your eyes and pay attention to uh, what it is that you're seeing back in there. So um, the other thing is a lot of people don't realize that they are using clairvoyance. Um, the thing about our spiritual abilities is that in our in our gifts is that a lot of times we don't realize that it's different, that not everybody uses that. We just assume everybody's going through their life using their abilities and, you know, experiencing life the way we experience it, which is actually really not true. So if, um, if that sounds familiar or any of these other things, um, you're on the right track. Okay. Number five, you're alive and breathing. (laughs) Here's the thing. Everyone is clairvoyant, okay? We have just been told that we aren't or that it's wrong or that you have to be special. You have to be born this way. Well, here's the thing. We're all born this way. We all have spiritual abilities. We all have gifts. We all can do what I do on a regular basis. Um, You just have to reprogram your brain to tune into those things again. We're all born with these abilities. We all have seen the babies staring at the ceiling or at the corner and laughing and, you know, interacting with something that's not there that we can't see anyway. Um, We're all born with it, you guys. And society programs it out of us very quickly, okay? Unless we are lucky enough to be born into a family um, with people who are open to this stuff and help shape and guide us and don't let us close that window, Um, most of us, it's programmed out of us in various ways, right? Oh, it's your imaginary friend or, um, yeah, ghosts aren't real, right? That's what most parents tell kids because it can be scary if they don't have the tools to help guide them so it won't be scary and give them the, you know, the boundaries and the knowledge to, um, you know, teach them that ghosts are not scary, right? They're just... Our, we call them spirit friends in our house. Um, we have always called them that. All of my kids are um, extremely gifted. And so, uh, you know, I had to learn, once I started learning about my abilities and how to not be scared and how to use them, I had to teach my kids how to be able to navigate that world without fear and to empower them and give them the tools to be in charge and to um, you know, not let fear set in and, uh, you know, have boundaries with, with the spirit world. So my kids luckily, my kids luckily are, um, very open and have all the tools they need to have good boundaries with spirit and be able to be empowered enough to say, nope, leave me alone. Not in here for it. I'm not, I don't, I'm not in the mood, you know, whatever it is their feeling. Um, so that has been lucky for them, but most of us do not grow up in a home like that, especially in the, um, you know, like my generation and older, um, you know, the generation X people and older, uh, this was very, um, 
well, there's like satanic panic and all that stuff that happened when we were little. And so um, it was very beat out of us that this is not a good thing. It's evil. Um, it's Satan, all those things, right? And religion can be a big one that tells us that tapping into these gifts is evil. And then we're talking to devil or demons and um, which is also very not true. So if any of that stuff is ringing true for you, um, feel free to reach out to me with questions. Uh, you can connect with me. I will have, um, I will go have the links in the show notes, but, uh, you know, I have a Facebook group, uh, called the witch awakening over there where you can connect and ask questions. And there's a ton of other people there to connect with and share memes and just have a good time, but in a safe space, or you can connect with me on Instagram. It's Melissa underscore Rippy. Um, and definitely reach out and just send me a DM and we can chat and see, um, if we can kind of take care of some of those questions for you as I do not want anyone living in fear. One of my missions is to help eradicate the fear that is surrounding, uh, abilities and psychics and mediums and witches and all the things that I am. There's so much fear around that and it, um, it makes people deny who they are and that leads to a lot of other problems. So one of my goals is to definitely help get rid of the fear in this generation and heal that wound for people. All right, you guys, that is what I have for you today. Be sure to connect with me over on the Witch Awakening Facebook group. I'll put that link in the show notes, like I said, um, but head over there and join if you haven't. But once you join, tell me what clairvoyant experiences have you had and what are your favorite or most scary experiences? I want to know about that. Um, all right. So things I have going on right now in my world, I have an announcement. I am retiring. Well, my current offerings anyway. So you have until January 28th of 22 to get your appointment booked at the current rates and with the current offerings. After that, I have some new stuff coming and I'm so dang excited about it, you guys. So I'm bringing back an old class that is getting a huge facelift. Um, this thing's had over a hundred alumni now and they all rave about how it's changed their lives and um, basically all the things I was just talking about, removing fear, helping you connect with your abilities. It's for beginners and it helps you connect in with your abilities and there's all kinds of fun practice exercises and you know you learn how to do readings and just fun games and all kinds of things to do in there. So um, that will be coming out soon um, and I look forward to do that and to get it out there again and start changing some more lives. Um, I also will have a new way to work with me one-on-one -on -one and get big time results. This is a longer term commitment because real change takes time. Um, one 60 minute appointment with me can help. Yes. But to make some big changes, you need to be accountable and checking in for a longer period of time. So I'm very excited about this as well. Um, it'll help people heal old traumas, break through blocks and shift into the new energy they need to manifest their most magical lives. Um, that'll be a three month package. So I am so excited for all of this. Um, start watching for that in February. Um, that will be coming out very soon. But until then, you can go over to my website and book your appointment at the current offerings and the current rates. Like I said, everything's going up and changing in February. So the link for that will be in the, in the show notes as well. It's just melissarippy.com and there's a work with me tab over there. So Thanks for joining me today, you guys. I will see you next time. Be sure to subscribe so you can get notified when new podcasts are uploaded and leave a review on your favorite place to listen. That lets them know that you love it and it gives it a boost so that other people can find us. Stay magical and I will talk to you soon.